Jira Digital Trainer working in the Mobiles and we are here in uh, the DAB working in the community here of young people who are enthusiastic to learn and we basically here to train them on how they can work online and impart them the skills that can allow them to earn a decent wage online. Good morning class, we've been here for two weeks covering Ajira digital program. I'll be taking you through the process of creation of an Upwork account and also we'll be showing you how to actually apply for those jobs and get something out of the work that you'll be performing in those platforms. Remember when you have a page and you have a business, uh, maybe Hagadera, Beauty Parlor, the first step as I told you, is to make sure you set your browser to be desktop mode. I'm called Mohamed Adanali. I'm 22 years old. I'm a refugee in Dagali. I'm among the children who have been born in Dagali. And now and I'm from four graduates. We have been learning for digital skills, so just like transcription, data entry. My experience during this training, although I was uh, not uh, good at uh, typing speed. The teachers help us to increase our typing speed and now I can type faster. I really appreciate this company, the way they educate us, the way they treat us, the way they train us. My experience so far, I don't have any idea about skills, but now I can say I'm strongly be a skilled for digital skills, the way to back up the data, the way to use laptops and digitals. DLC as a humanitarian, the main focus is to enlighten or rather improve the lives of the disadvantaged in the society. We have different interventions as DLC that we do undertake to improve the livelihoods under the economic recovery of refugees. Uh, we have vocational skills training, whereby we have tailoring of electrical, as well as uh, plumbing. So these are skills that once refugees are trained, they can always utilize them. Now, looking at Ajira, we feel as DRC, this is the best collaboration that we could ever have. Why am I saying this? We cannot live as refugees uh, in isolation. We need to live as one people. I know it's the first time we're having this in a refugee setup. It's an interesting uh, adventure. The biggest achievement is being able to document income from these beneficiaries that we are training. And I think we've already started seeing some positive aspect of it. My name is Obang Uchudo. I'm from Ethiopia. I'm in Kenya now as a refugee. I first come to learn this Ajira when I joined this training here. It is a good experience. In fact, last night I went through a translation through Zoom and it has helped me, you know. That experience which I have right now, it can help me do more and also earn something. Okay, so one of the methodologies that we are trying to adopt here is uh, consistent training whereby we have set the trainings to happen in such a way that we have a group for beginners, we have another group for the intermediate, these are those who have already been trained and they have basic skills on how to work online, and we have another pool of experienced online workers who have been trained, they have slightly worked online before, and now bringing all this pool together, we have set sessions that are able to ensure that all of them have been cooperated like we will be able to show them how they create online work accounts and be able to show them how to bid for work. And we believe that that one will bring an enabled community where everyone is equipped. This is one of those areas that uh, is categorized to be special. But uh, these guys understand Somali English and that is one of the hot cakes uh, that uh, is available uh, in the online space. We've incorporated locals who are trained through Ajira Digital and they are currently working as TOTs to help us disseminate information in a much easier way. I am a digital trainer. I live in the Deb refugee camp, especially in the Yahle. This is now the area called the Yahle. When I go for TO training for the Garissa, I have learned a lot of skills from there. That's why I also know about now Ajira. Ajira is a very good platform where youth can get jobs online and also I get a lot of experience. 
from there before I don't know anything. The students are so excited uh, on the opportunities that are being shared. There was a gap between how they can connect with clients and how they can now get the money. And us coming here has been able to give them a leeway to understand more and in, in depth how they could work with clients online. So one of the killings we are looking at having Ajira clubs and through the Ajira clubs we'll establish Ajira digital tools or cyber tools in the markets. And uh, as of next year, we'll be, has, we'll be looking into starting to deploy this uh, Ajira cyber tools. The community is so welcoming and intrigued by this uh, new project. Uh, they have already shown the interest, the passion, and uh, at least we are having a number of them that we are already seeing are making uh, income. These trainings will assist the VG girls through online working. They learn what are the meaningful things that you can benefit from the social media. I can say I am strongly be a skilled labor for digital skills. Online work is something that is real. So my last word is to be a strong girl. We need a strong girls everywhere in the world, especially in a refugee. My advice to the youth of Gariza or the DAP, there is a lot of dances in the online works. You didn't used to believe that I can work from online, but now I have just sent transcript English to Somali. That's where now I have become very active. I will be a good freelancer or a good worker from the online, inshallah. You can even sustain the family while working online. And it can even make you someone who is very important one day in the society. Being a refugee, you know, doesn't mean anyone takes your ability in terms of the brain and everything. The race is free. Everyone can compete, irrespective of the challenges in life, irrespective of the current situations that uh, they have. <laughs>